Alright, so the goal is to be able to go back to a slide that has audio, video um, clips on it and have it play again. Uh, you could probably actually do this with just regular animations too. So what I did was I just made slide 1, a slide 1B, a slide 2, which has the audio file on it, a slide 3, and a slide 4 that you can't see. If I can get my act together, there you go, slide 4. So what I did was I just numbered them so you could see the difference. So anyway, so slide two, um, for the animation, I just did what you did um, after previous. You could do with previous two, it doesn't matter. But on slide 1B, what I did was from slide one to slide 1B, I made a um, transition on 1B that goes immediately. It transitions from 1B to 2 at 0 0.01 seconds. So it automatically goes to this slide and does what it's supposed to do. So here we go from slideshow, slide one, next slide, one B. If you make it look better, you, people aren't going to notice that. Or if you make the slide the same background color as your slide with the audio, nobody will notice the difference. And so then your audio file is over. You go to the next slide. Oops, to the next slide. And now you want to go back. If you go back, it doesn't work. But I made an action button and I made an action image. Both of them do the same thing, but I did the image and I hyperlinked to slide 1B so that it'll go back to 2 and play again. So I'm just going to click on it. Nobody's going to go out with me. And it plays again. So you could do an action button, you could hide it behind an image. Um, that's not a bad thing. Um, or you can make a, a list of um, action buttons that are a little bit smaller down here and you could actually have it so that you hover over. But I know most people don't always have a, um, a mouse, they usually have a presentation clicker. But anyway, so that's what you could do. Now if you go to slide 4 and, it do, um, and now you want to go, you could just do the shortcut menu. A lot of people forget about this, but it does work and you can name these. You can use titles instead. Um, and actually, I'm sorry, these are the titles. So if I had slide four up here, it's slide four up here. So it would be the title of whatever you've got going. So you could try to go slide 1B, and it goes right back to slide two. And we're going to go slide three and four again. I want to try one more thing. Slide, go to slide two and see what happens. And notice it doesn't play. But if you go to slide 1B, Nobody's gonna go now it plays again. That's how I would do it. Um, or there's a couple other ways I would do it, but that's one of the ways I think that might help you. Thanks. Bye-bye.